Alrighty, what's up everyone? Dark we're all here, and welcome back to more Pokemon Scarlet. Last time we managed to take down Karen of the BB League, uh, the, the champion of the BB League. And this time we're actually heading to the entrance to explore Area Zero. As requested by the champion of Paldea. Let's go! Director. Hey there, everybody. My name is Briar, Carmine, Kieran. Are you traveling to Zero? Let, let's go. Splendid. We finally made it to set off then. Kieran's just looking off in the distance. You feeling alright? Well, enough to travel at least. I'm well. I'm fine, anyway. Yeah, me too. I had time to calm down. Well, that's good. Fine. I know what I have to do now. Find the legendary Pokemon Area Zero no matter what it takes. That's the spirit, Karen. Alright then, shall we? Nah, my man. My man. You obsessed. He's like, no! I won't let less as I will find Terrapagos. Oh, because freaking Ogre Palm didn't choose him. Now he's like, oh, we'll find all the legendary Pokemon. I will do it. Why is anybody behind us? We made it. I'm, I'm finally here. Area Zero, the place I dreamed about for years. Incredible. Wowzer. Hmm. Uh, so you've been here before, right, Lady Lincoln? Yeah, with my friends. Friends, huh? Yes! Yeek, you scared me. Honestly, you're too big to come popping out like that. You're, what's your, what's your Madon? You got? This came here with Lady Lincoln back then too, huh? It must be that Pokemon that was reportedly first discovered in Area Zero. Very intrigued by this specimen, but alas, it's not what we're here for. We're here to go to the deepest depths of Area Zero. And see what's even deeper. Deeper than the Zero Lab? Hark mentioned his writing that he fell from the depths of somewhere even deeper. Hold on, doesn't the depths imply he was as deep as he could get? Quite curious, isn't it? However, Hark has written wrote that he truly utter is unable to recall how he got down there. His writings are to believe there must be an entire uncharted space below Area Zero. Either way, let's start making our way to the Zero Lab down in the depths. Take the lead, Lady Lincoln. Oh, back in Area Zero. With all the... All the, uh, Paradox Pokemon. And just random Pokemon just screwing about. There's one right there, it's Sl tail. I already got your right, you. I don't think I have a Slither tail. Slither Wing, that's Slither Tail, Slither Wing. Ooh, almost got him. Yeah, these are like super high level before, now they're like, eh. Morning Sun. Okay. Yeah, it's doing Ivy. Ivy Cudgel will immediately kill it. Ivy Cudgel. Let's keep on going down. She catches the ring and try to fill our decks more. And I killed it. Yay! Good over job overkill. 
Go! Go for me! Or no, go away. I saw a screen tail. That was a crit catch. Yes, crit catch. Single bloom Pokemon, white flower. It's fond of the white flowers, it can easily sync with the flowers of each color. Look at darkness. So Scream Tail was here. And Scream Tail. They want to head down. I'm heading up. It's very dangerous. But like the top parts of Area Zero, it's just kind of, kind of like beautiful. There's a Braviary. Draft vision for Rigorath. Let's go, Quick Ball! Let's catch everything down here. You're not gonna lie. Can I see how much BP I have when I'm not at school at Blueberry? Bend them off. I can. Two fifteen. If I can fly to area zero now whenever I feel like it, I'm gonna check something. Oh. Let's check the calf real quick. Straight up. Oh, it's only 150. Academy special. Yes. Two of these. Academy special. Yum. Mm. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Sparkling power. All types. special. Is there a way like, you can see all that stuff? Like what you're boosted right now? No, I don't think there's gonna be a C right now. Peach I'm going to go to style card. The roto stick and the indigo disc. No, oh, it's five by Terry Zero. The land Takami. There's a lot of Jangmo there. A lot of Jangmo at like Takami. So I'll check that real quick. Shouldn't be too long. At the crystal pool. And a massive Jangma O. Probably two. Let me 
actually heal up. And you heal up Ogre Pond. A couple over here, a couple them over here. Here, find a grip ball. She found a grip ball. Come on, Ogre Pine. Get him. I'm gonna try my hand. I'm gonna try my hand. See if we find anything. I have no, I forgot completely what Jangmo's shiny looks like. But hey, we'll try. Proceeds to go fight everybody else but the Jangmo right for me. It's right behind you, Pokemon. There you go. Okay, yeah, there's a another outbreak of Jangmo over here. Second, I was a shiny one. Not tell. So it was dark. I was like, oh, oh. I was hopeful for a second because it did psychic and it was dark. I'm like, oh, is that thing? Oh, just, that's a special glamora. Pretty sure all these are not shiny. I want you to fight the Terra Pokemon. I need to check like mass outbreaks. I love how they did that with uh, Pokemon. Like uh, Arceus. But like I said, they did it better in Arceus. Because they're like, oh yeah, you know when a Pokemon would be shiny. So you hear brrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
Actually, screw it. I ain't gonna go. I ain't gonna go shiny hunting. I don't think y'all want to see me just sit around shiny hunting for Jango the whole time. Ah! Solomon's get it! Or not. It was a uh, hundred. There you go, level one hundred. Killing every Jangmo. Alright, I'm not seeing a shiny one. I'll look like over that way. If not, we're just gonna go. We'll just go. I'm not gonna be hunting here all day. I think I should know what shiny Jangmo even looks like. I feel like that's like a vast different one. <laughs> so whatever. All right. Back to the actual story. Can I? Oh, there is zero gate. Yeah. Got slide of the zero gate. area zero now. Oh my goodness. Where's I to go? Four? Yeah, as we're right on two Karidons attack each other. down. Guy by Garchomp. There's a group on it. Yep, group on it. Group ball. Might as well catch all these Paradox Pokemon. Positive creature listed as Brubon is certain a certain book could actually be this Pokemon. Brubon. Oh, we have a scream tail. Screamtail. I'm 
survive. I remember Karan didn't want to do much of anything down here last time. He was like, oh, I'm scared. I know we still have to actually catch the second Karidon. Because he's actually down here somewhere you can actually catch him. Mora, Screamtail, Garganackle. Glamora, which is going to have a crowd. I have like a Glamora. Uh, Glamora. Zero Lab. Yep. So on top is Zero Lab, too. Dude. Had a bit of a, a hiccup there for a minute. Just that might go after everything else. Garganacle, screen tail, gibble gibble device. Well, damn, now I want to check my po Pokedex, see what I actually have for all the Paradox. I already had Screen Town, I already had. Uh. Cry it on. I don't have Roaring Moon. Gimme Go, I don't have Golden Go. I'm missing Fluttermane, Slitherwing, and Sandy Shocks. And this, of course, those are the rest of the. Moon, Karina Miradon, and then there's also Bonnet, Gamora, Tusks. I need Slitherwing, Sandy Shocks. There's a lot of Glamour as you go down. This is a wireless. Some of this crystal? I saw something on one of the big crystals. It's pretty though, isn't that it? I could have sworn it was on it was on the zero lab. I was like, oh, is that on the zero lab? Yeah, right down there. Guess there's more to see in the the bottom floor. Trick room. Yeah, there's a couple closed research areas. Boy, it would look like it was just the Zero Lab. I really wish I could still fly. Yeah, Glamora. A lot of Glamora. That's like the Pokemon of Area Zero. Yeah, it's like freaking everywhere. And it's pretty evolved for him. The mess. This place is insane. It reminds me of Crystal Pool. It's a zero lab. Take it, the structure exterior matches Greta's description at least. The deepest point in area zero. Right. Yes and no. The deepest point of area zero ex expedition managed to reach long ago. You know, I've been told the lowest level of the laboratory is in a mysterious room whose purpose is un uh, entirely unknown. <clears throat> Time machine. Also, well, I'm not gonna look that up.
However, this is where I, I want to go even deeper than that. Same if you head inside the Zero Lab. It's closed though. Oh, right. Been here before, right? You need to use the panel. This place is like a spy movie or something. Way cool. <laughs> I didn't say anything. And can we count on you to unlock the gate by saying I Yep. But first, there's something else that I need to find. Rock like ramp. That's not the one we used to get there down here area. It's somewhere completely different. Asking, well, well, Dark Warhog, why are you going this way? Find something that we that was forgotten here long ago. And it's been just waiting here for a long while. Stone Edge. Terra Blast. Yeah, I feel like I'm going out of the, the depths now. I think I might have went up the wrong ramp. Hmm. That looks more promising. Try and you can let go. So they're waiting in front of the zero lab, and they're going to the back of the zero lab. Find a very familiar face. Elements. Let's see Karidon. Good ball.
Nah, screw it. I have enough. Let's go, Master Ball. We got Karidon. A second one. Seems the Winged King mentioned the oldest visionary is said to have split the land with his bare fist. Fighting with each other in the ball. Come on, Igas. Come back, Karate. Let's come back to this. Let's go, Karate on. Collision course! Yeah, technically I'm pretty sure I can... Just in the battle mode. So you basically change your karate on whenever you want. Kind of a little bit weaker than the other Karadon. Counter. Terra Blasting Door Collision Person Flamethrower. Karadon won the day from that with the other Karadon because of it knowing Terra Blast. And it was able to terrasize into its dragon form. Alright, shall we? Let's go. Access revoked due to prolonged antiquity. Entrance locked. What's the matter? Something wrong with it? It dropped before though. It opened before though, right? Is there some extra step we're missing? The professor was in the lab and. Let's see, so last time we went through a series of steps from left to gay, and the professor was also there to guide you from the inside. Beep boop. Indigo disc detected. Indigo disc detected. Talking indigo disc for greater access privileges. Please insert indigo disc. Oh, that is just one of those computerized voices. No any different from than the TM machine. Indigo disc. What do you mean by that? Oh, God, I gave you a mysterious item before we departed, did she? Well, I think that's it. If I go on and I can do it, you have my permission. Please insert in the good disc. In you go, disc. In the good disc confirmed. Should have elevator redirected to area zero under depths. Rumble, 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 rumble. Look at that, 
it opened. Did I in? So this is not gonna take us to the zero lab, it's gonna take us to another place called the under depths. It's way too dark in here. I smacked my head on something. Of course, you're just running around without any idea where you're going. Oh, wow, Kiki. Sounds like someone's finally breaking out of his fu of their funk. Room. Shut it. Where's Miss Briar, anyway? We've been rummaging through, like, a whole stack of documents over there. Who's... Someone's private photos and stuff? Shouldn't be looking at all that. I'll have to be considerate. Just consider it all of a sudden. Brian, look, an elevator. Maybe it takes us down further. Wanna go down, right? Down, you say? <laughs> down, you say? <laughs> oh, did you use the elevator last time to reach the mysterious room I mentioned earlier? Sure did. Exciting. And the time to waste. Let's go down. Back in the elevator again. It's been so long since we've been in this elevator. Since when we were with Sada. One of us ever just keeps going further and further down. That's what elevators do. You know, it's moving pretty fast, actually. It's almost like I'm floating. Hey, everyone. The panel we used to unlock the gate. Didn't it say something about where the elevator goes? It did mention something about the elevator being redirected, right? As far as I know, there's only one elevator inside the Zero Lab. So the panel must be referred to the elevator we're currently inside. Exactly where is it taking us? Oh, oh, oh. Where indeed? Mmm, I still don't trust you. You seem kind of creepy, especially with your uh, the red eyes. I don't know. And I still don't trust her. Like, since I first saw him, like, you're gonna be the villain of the DLC in the end. So we're not even in. Oh, my. My goodness. Yeah, we're not even we're not in the time machine room. Now we're even further down. So what, are we under area zero or something? According to my data, our current position is far deeper than we were last. That's what's good. The elevator had taken us even further down the previous destination? Man, area zero's already taken a lot to take in. I mean, anything's gonna surprise me at this point, no matter what we run into. Hey! What's all that stuff? Oh! What's that's doing here? Oh my, oh my, this is... For written by the esteemed Professor Sada. Massive crater exists beneath Area Zero. It slumbers Terrapagos, the hidden treasure of Area Zero. The body has become crystal, protecting it from hostile outsiders. It appears to be roosting, rousing it takes some time. In this cavern, I witnessed the terrestrial phenomena occur in the way I've never seen above, above ground. Terrestrialization that appears to behold power of every known type. I dubbed this Terra type the Stellar type. And now, could Terra Pagos influence be at play? Pagos is the hidden treasure of Area Zero. And it's slivering in the form of a crystal? What about the Stellar type? Absolutely marvelous. But I think there's so much that I didn't written about. Documents are viable treasure troves, and we're only just begun the expedition. I don't know how we could get excited into a bizarre place like this. I think we'll call Terra Pagos the hidden treasure of Area Zero. So let's hurry up and go further in. Got my filled documents. Okay, let's go. It would be the best to discover the truth with our own eyes, after all. Let's get you moving. Stay on your guard, everyone. Yeah, nothing else there but crater.
Oh, this giant crystal terrapa goes. This crystal trying to be a flower has completely blocked our path. You can't go any further with this thing in the way. Well, what's him with Don? The Pokemon you're right on. You think he's match to it? We'll give it a go. Hold on, hold on, please hold on. Great. Manifestation of pure terrestrial energy. No idea what might happen if you try to destroy it with brute force. Okay, and what do we do then? Hmm. Good thing, good thing. Pokemon all the way down here? What's going on with this one? It seems to be charged with some kind of strange energy. Hey, get back! You don't, you're, you're no good in battle, Miss Briar. Kiki, no, Lily Lincoln. You should handle this. Damn, shut him down. What Mora! Okay, fine. Let's go. Mora! Stellar type. Where's that energy? It couldn't be. So just make it its own thing, but it could change any of its moves. The part of this harassal phenomenon is basically to make it that that Pokemon becomes its type. Is it basically a double-edged sword where, uh... It's all of its moves are super, all of its moves are super effective, but it can't... If you... Oh, I can't catch it. It's basically it's regular type, but all its moves are probably super effective. Right? Good work, Lily Lincoln. Yep. It's appeared. Did knocking out that sparkling Pokemon make the crystal flower disappear? Just like the reports found earlier. The witness finishes the Pokemon wielding the power of each and every type. It made them must have had the stellar terror type. Uh, what does that all mean? Is that supposed to be? Wait, is that supposed to be the so-called hidden treasure we we're looking for? I can't say for certain, but no, I don't think so. But we heard Pepsi's note said the hidden treasure area is slumbering in a crystal form. The Golmora we just fought off doesn't fully fit the description. I don't think it's the Pokemon that Professor calls Terra Pagos. Only one way to find it, if it's the hidden treasure or not, if we keep going. Come on. Oh yeah, because he wants to try to catch it. Stellar Terra Shard. These shards are formed. Are we going to find carving down here? <laughs> carving. A lot of Glamora. It's uh, kind of fitting, we, kind of thing. We, if we didn't find carving down here, but also if we find a diet, that'd be great. Because I know they're technically two separate Pokemon, but you know, it kind of makes sense, you know, a place full of crystals if we found Dianty. So, are you Blueberry Academy or are you regular. You regular Paldea? Oh, I guess you're regular Paldea. I didn't think I'd seen a carving up top. Oh, now we just find stellar shards. Yeah, a lot of Glimmet, a lot of, a lot of Glamora. Oop. Hydro Pump. There we have it. <laughs> My um, thing has it. Yeah. Greninja, name, couldn't figure it out. <laughs> Four stores. Oh, 
I'm gonna defeat that sparkly Pokemon up there. What are you waiting for? Hop on there. Watch my, watch my Don. Watch my Don. And go get it. Nice Terra shards. Oh, it's a new wyvern. A sparkling wyvern. Flying Terra shards. Pokemon! I really should switch out to my other Pokemon. Sparkling Parasite. See now the question is, like I said, because it's every the stellar terror type, does that make it basically its own type, but basically all its moves are super effective? Or yeah, I guess so, because they, they get terrible. That's like when you have the terror type of that move, it's just boosted. So the stellar type just be like, okay, every move that you use is terrible boosted. But you're also weak, still weak to your own type. Because your type's included in the terror type. Ninety-five. Oh man, we still have a lot of things to do. We have still haven't found We have to do with uh Pyrin. Crystal thing's gone now. Noibrat. Noibrat fur and ten terror shards. Yeah, I still haven't found out what Pyrin wants. He wants 200 types of the blueberry decks we have to do. The Pokemon's called Karadon, right? Boy, they can really jump. How roll, let's keep moving. Those are always here, red and purple. Yeah, pretty sure. No, I don't think they changed the version. Up another flower. So there's a Terra type somewhere. Slip and fall into the abyss. Are you slip and fall? We won't be able to help you. No, thanks. Carving. Another one here. Some blizzard. This way? So we just came from this way. Oh no, we did not because there's the East. Terrasta Pokemon. If you fall in the abyss, we won't be able to help you. Don't worry, Karadon can float. He <laughs> can float. So that helps. Helps get us precision. Nice, 50. What's up? What's up? Just in time, we made it down to one of the deepest parts of Area Zero. The Under Depths. And we're exploring, trying to find the mysterious legendary Pokemon, Terrapagos. Ah, oh, man, of course it's a stellar Sandy Shock. I would have loved that, because I need to find Sandy Shocks. Sandy Shocks and I'm sure it's Steel Fighting? Well, now it's whatever the type it is, because it's a stellar type. See. Let's go fire. Let's go Ivy Cudgel. Ah, oh, we already broke that. Just completed that area yesterday. Nice. Did you uh 
get all the 200 Pokemon you need for Piran, because we still didn't do that. I don't know if we're going to do that today or maybe another episode, but... I know for this one, we're going to try to finish the DLC. Well, that one broke, okay, but there was a second one I saw up top. I think the path has opened up. Jesus, you would've guessed. You would've slipped and fell. Oof, you would've been goner. She wouldn't have made it. And more ter uh, stellar types. Normal. Anything else hidden in here? Looks like a big cage. There should be other stuff. Aha! More secrets. And I think... Is that another item over there? It was. So we got Blizzard, Hydro Pump, Fire Blast... So basically, all the big, the big moves. Apparently, I, I've read somewhere that after you complete this or something, you actually finally get the ability to fly. Which, of course, that would be great, because I would love that, because this <laughs> falling with style is not my thing. I guess I'd pretty much love to Legends Arceus better with... Um, Braviary, because even though, yeah, he does basically glide, it's for a much further distance. Because Karadon, it's like, yeah! I didn't catch everything, I wanted to finish the lore first and leave the decks for the last, since it's the best part, in my opinion. Crap, I missed what, what TM that was. Oh, well. True. Especially because in, this, uh, in the later DLC and stuff like that, it's a lot easier because it's like, Oh, here's this Pokemon. Here's its evolution. Okay. Catch. Or you can just give it, like, one EXP candy. It'll be boom. Sorry for doing all the work. You really appreciate it, Lily Lincoln. Now, it appears that Trasso energy around us is growing more dense the further down we go. Come on, there's no time to lose. Okay. So you guys are there. You guys are going down that way, but I'm gonna check up this way. Cause I saw another crystal bloom up this way. And it's still there, so I guess we're gonna cycle back, I guess? You'll find out later. A lot of Glamora. Store. Nice elixirs. Oh, this screams final room to me. Heal items and all the important items uh, littering the way down. Max revive. Max potions for restores. Yeah, this screams final area over here. Kind of looking around the water. I don't want to get my clothes wet. Is that? Oh, it's a gar. It's a garganackle. Ooh, and a crystal tree. How pretty. Pokemon has such a weird name, Garganackle. True. I think it's cool because basically Gargantuan and uh, the, chem the chemical formula for salt. So it's just big salt. Or no, giant salt. Look, look at yeah. Minecraft here with Pokemon, basically. Yeah. Yep, that is, that is also true. The crystal disappeared. Goes even further. 
Kiki, your turn to call it Lincoln over. Maybe she'd rather have you do it. Pick your blabbering, just do it! At least he's listening again, not being a whole. <clears throat> I'm you and Prudy. Hey, the pass open, you can keep going! Sure, I'll get there. I just want to look at this crystal, crystal lake, and it's basically a nice crystal tree. That's, that's beautiful. Is there anywhere else to go in here, though? Like any extra secrets, goodies? I see something up there. A couple items here and there on this crystal structure. Ghost shards. And earthquake. Okay, so we got a hydro pump, blizzard, fire blast, earthquake. No thunder? I'm surprised we haven't found thunder yet. Not gonna lie, that area feels like this area specifically feels more like, hey, this is where like a secret would be, you know? Well, secret slash, you know, that would have been where the final encounter was in front of a crystal tree. Yeah, I guess that's it for here. Yeah, but see, it's just like, yeah, we're gliding, and it's just like, no, you ain't. <laughs> And no, you ain't. <laughs> it's quite pretty, though. Scarping. Well, Kiki, isn't there something you wanted to say to Lady Lincoln? No, not really. I feel like we're all relying a bit too much on her is all. You should keep going. Ah, Sucks to suck. He's so stubborn. <laughs> it sucks to suck. Simply dazzling as always. Just so you know, we're also fitting up wild Pokemon while you were away. So me and my team were just about spent. You want to revive? I got you. Sinatel is all I got left. So if, it, if something happens, you better save me. Aw. I'll help you out, Carmine. All, all my ones are raring to go. Especially Ogre Pond. Ooh. I take it back. This screams. My Terror Orb. I think it's reacting to something. Yeah, mine is too. Let's pick up a truly astro it says, astounding levels of terrestrial energy. Coming from in there. We finally at the finish line. The hidden treasure. Where do you think you're going? Can't wait to see another second of truth behind the scar. Let's look at stuff close now. But not you too. Those two sometimes, I swear. Oh, into the cave we go. The crystal cave. This is almost like a Terra Den. What is this place? Five here is totally a different level. In treasure, where is it? There, Kira, up ahead. Just some, there's something among those pillars. This stone is the hidden treasure? The moment I just need to check something. I get the hidden treasure of Area Zero. I can finally beat Lily Lincoln. Oh my goodness, man, you obsessed. 
Still gone about that nonsense? Shut it, sis. With everything I ever wanted. She got a strong Pokemon. She can go anywhere she wants. She can be friends with anyone. I loved Ogre Monsters forever ago, and even Ogre Pond chose her over me. Kiki, you did your best too. Even you, sis. You were being all nasty towards her at first, but then boom, you were like best friends in no time. I well, I got nothing. I worked so hard for what? I still lost in the end. This is all I have left now. Huh, the crystal is definitely what we're looking for. Fuck you and pull with everything you've got. Show us the hidden treasure of Area Zero. Crystal must be Terrapagos. First thing that awakens, she sees is me. No! <laughs> you d You're mine! Oh man, he threw a master ball. Well, my man snatched the Pokemon away from me. That was Terrapago said, you caught it, right? Finally. Well done, Kieran. The fact that you brought along a Master Ball tells me you were well prepared for this. And I can say Terra Pogos wherever you want. There's no like, time like the present. You give us a little demonstration of Terra Pogos power right now? No, you heard her, Lady Lincoln. So it's to see what Terra Pogos can do. Get ready so we can start. You ready? Alright, well, let's see. I'll throw it. Let's see. This could be a rock. I'm gonna switch off. To the swell spring mask. Logopon transformed. You ready? Yeah. Get into position. But are you really trying to beat me? Sorry. That's not how this is gonna go. Hope you brace yourself. It's time I'll definitely beat you, Lily Lincoln. Time by Pokemon Trainer Kieran. That's Terrapons. Go, Ogre Pond! Don't let your progress do it like you want your made of. Terra Shift. To Ivy Cudgel. This is the hand trying to form. With this, I can win for sure. Made of some distorted dice. Oh, so it could be any type it wants. We put up a grassy terrain. Make you a little some foliage growing here. Heals. Oh, it also heals Terrapagos as well. Did I do the damn move again? Whoops. But it failed. Oh, I can tell it's probably Psychic type because it keeps using a Zen Headbutt. Divey Cudgel!
you know, you know, Karen, the one thing that you never do that, you know, probably would help you win some of these battles, you don't use items. If you ever, you know, if you ever use a map, full restore, a max revive, any kind of revival item, you know, you could actually beat me. Because, you know, the only person that I've known that uses full restores is Cynthia. I'm pretty sure. So it sucks to suck. <laughs> The power should be far greater than this. Did it be it's missing something? Zen Headbutt! Heal! Wolf Heal! The grass is appear from the battlefield. Ivy! Cudgel! And he's dead. You weird looking turtle. Hey, weird looking crystal t world turtle. Whatever kind of thing they're going for with Terrapagos. Why? But if I just had Terrapagos, I'd have the hidden treasure of Area Zero. It it would make me stronger. I thought it'd let me beat the Lincoln. Oh. Karen, that's enough. It's time to stop this. No, something's not right. Exactly. Terrasta and Jeff was far too low. Not to mention the fact that it looks different from the illustration in the Scarlet Book. So Terrapagos isn't the hidden treasure of Area Zero? No, I'm sure if it is, it's just missing something. The way it transformed you to... into the treasure. Of course, Terrapagos has made a Terrastro on it. You care, you must Terrastize Terrapagos. This is an instant. When you try, Terrapagos will resonate with the energy of your Terra Orb. And the hidden treasure will fully reveal its true brilliance. Got it. The Scarlet Boat was right! Terrapagos is fully awakened form. This is the hidden treasure of Area Zero! Ooh. Ooh. Not gonna lie, I should've smacked him. So just blasted his face off. How much of a dick he's been lately. Turn Terra Frogs with Claw. No! I will. Oh, let's say it. No, win! Nope, sorry. Fool. He won't go back inside. Why? Because you're done fed up, didn't you? Jeff was going haywire. We're all in serious danger. We can't bring it under control. I'm sorry, kids, but please, we need to stop Terra Fargo's. Got it. To get your Terra Fargo's under control. Why don't you know what's supposed to happen? This is all my fault. Oh, finally you're realizing freaking lust for power is kind of blowing up in your face. And also the fact that there's only two of us. It should be a terror raid battle. Why isn't there four of us here? Can't terrestrialize. Yes, I need control. Oh, poo. Terrestrialize your Pokemon might help. Yeah, but you drained all the thing out of my Terra Star Storm. We're going like freaking uh, what's that called? Earthbound over here with PK Star Storm. Life dude. And water absorb. Try to rationalize your Pokemon. I can't! My Terra Orb only has like a little bit of energy left. Life 
dude. Yeah, it's basically it's just stalling for time at this point. Now you change. Just terrestrialize Pokemon to strike back. Will it actually let me terrestrialize? Yes! There we go. Let's go! Terrastalize! Special defense. Me? Cut off. Just enough to break the barrier. Honestly, I'm broke and stands. I don't know. Absorb terrestrial energy? No, I'd say order finds them like, no, put them in the mask back on. Just knocked out. This isn't good. It's just too strong. And I made another barrier. Power traps the phenomenon. Change its type. Another barrier. Strength. Did you just use traps to absorb? Did you so? You need to get in there and battle, Kiki. You're like it's doing all the work. It's no good. I'm useless. Oh my goodness. This man needs to stop being so mopey. Retaliate! <laughs> I'll take it to my friend. Oof. I got to freaking get more BP from my move now. Gonna sit around one more than headbutt. Now they like trash like Pokemon wants to get shine once more. I gotta heal, bitch. <laughs> I'm gonna die. I'm mean, I gotta heal. I gotta heal Ogre Pond. I can't let my girl die. Jeez, you trash like your Pokemon. You gotta wait. <laughs> I gotta at least get a chance where I can get a couple more hits in. She should be able to survive one more after that. Let's do it again! <laughs> This is gonna be just a battle of absorb the terrestrial energy once again, just destroying my terrestrial form. Let's <laughs> try yet again. Surely I can't keep doing this over and over, though. She's in trouble. She needs to, you. Need to help her. But I can't. I can't help anyone. Oh my god! I'm about to turn around and slap this fool. Let's do it together. Find out some sense into this man's. He's gonna have to be the team of the battle here. Hydrapple. Again, so has it water type now? Help you out too. See, so better late than never, I guess. The to tour clean up this whole mess up. Yeah, it's all his fault to begin with. 
As soon as it can change, it's her type. You know what? Love you, Ogbar, but I gotta switch out. As much as I love rubbing in the carrot's face. Let's go, Keo! Time to perform some magic. Syrup bomb. Covering sticky candy syrup. Put on a show! Yep, it's water type. The crystal then became a type it is in the back. Oof. That's even slower. One more time. Time to put on a show. Dragon cheer. Kyo is getting pumped. And now Kyo's about to die. Yep, we both died. Got any other bright ideas, genius? I'm saying I ogre pond one more time. Dragonite. Time to terrestrialize. See what we got. Could actually break its final defense unless it's going to do it again. I be cudgel. It's like you can't absorb any more energy. Another bear. Time to attack. Time to end this, you two. You have my permission to go all out. I need a an elixir, Carmine, or else I can't do it. Or ether. No? Yeah, ether. Obviously, I'd be cudgel. Super effective on Ogre Pond. Ivy. Cudgel! Blue. Kieran gonna finish it? Nope, you avoid Kieran's attacks. Let's go, Salamence! Two dragons. Draco Mania! Maybe I'll go and set the ball now, but the ball's broken. I know I can count on you, Lanky. You got this. Oh, you finally, you know, are gonna freaking not be a complete and total dingleberry about it. Alright. What's the 
best ball. Heel net nest timer. I got ultra. I don't know. I, I don't really know any good, you know, balls that match Terra Pagos' color scheme. It's like a, basically a terror raid battle. It should be like a guarantee catch. Yeah. Is, is it over? Is everyone okay? Yeah, how about you? Fine, thank you. Perfectly unharmed. The may session lead you all the way into dangerous situations. It's simply inexcusable. I'm so sorry, everyone. You should be fixated on this terrestrial stuff. You gotta keep your obsessiveness in check. You're absolutely right. Messed up too. I looked up to Lilanka for so long. I wanted to be her so bad, so so badly. I didn't know what else to do. I guess I just don't have it in me to be like her at all. Finally, I can let it go. Hey, don't sell yourself short. I just... <laughs> I swear, you got such a silly little brother. Finally let it go. <laughs> I just was so scared. Draw some brightly just now. You were truly dazzling. In the end, I really like you managed to catch Charapagos. You can consider a little expedition to Area Zero. Good and finished. Head back to Blueberry Academy. <laughs> it's just, just gonna cry the whole way back. So we got two legendary Pokemon on the way here to, from there is here. We caught the second Karidon, and we also caught Terrapagos. I think we did good. Finally home. Need to get in touch with Gita. No, scratch that. No, I didn't read that. Hey, Lily Lincoln? Hmm? Look, I've caused a lot of trouble for the Glee Club and everyone. I wanted to give everybody a proper apology. I'm sorry. I guess what I'm saying is, I'm trying to say is, I want to make things right. Aw, oh, as the sun comes up. So, do you think... To start over from zero and be friends again. I should imagine just to bock on the head. It's like, dumb, dumb. We were always were friends. You just got a little crazy, is all. sunrise of a new dawn. I like that. I like that. Oh, now it's combining everything. Our trip to Kitakami and our adventures in uh, Blueberry Academy. That's just gonna show like everything. The bus stop. Yep. Oh, it even has a ly lyrical thing. Yep, there's the... Uh, the lousy three there's the uh there's um oh god diplin yep ogre popping to get all the things from kitakami it's pretty cool yep yep there's kitakami all the three masks the wellspring, the hearth flame, and the iron was the iron stone. Of course, Ogre Pond and the uh, original grass mask. We got Sinatra, Bony Mountain. Yeah. 
And now we got Blueberry Academy. Seeing everything. And we get to see everything inside the terrarium. Now we got Carmine's little figures in her room. Yep, Savannah Biome. That's the Tauros featured on it. Coastal Viome with a Alolan, Alolan, a uh, Zekator, and a Galarian Slowpoke. It's kind of like the Isle of Armor. Canyon, which of course has the thing, and also the the Joltic Tarpstone Cave. Polar biome, chocolates, I guess. A uh, dugong. So I have to put another Pokemon there. Nope, sorry, chocolates instead. Now the amazing people who work on English, the localization. Then you get into area into the depths to find Terrapagos. Crystal, see the crystal tree is an interesting location. Spanish translation, Spanish editing, Korean translation and editing, Chinese localization, editing, English and European support, translation support, Korean localization support, English and Chinese localization support, see all these crazy people, debugging the Mario Club. We need modeling. Quality assurance. Need character modeling. Character motions. Support team, the artwork. Graphic design, Celestial, remixed by Toby Fox. It's the Undertale guy, right? Toby Fox? So now you did Pokemon. Yeah, you did Undertale. So now he's did, uh, he's composed song for Pokemon. Nice. A lot of people can, uh, can go. Hmm. Hidden treasure? Barrier zero. Let's like keep the Kami and then us at us at uh, Blueberry Academy. I think it takes into account like the the hair changes and thing that you put on. Ding boom! So now it's following student Lily Lincoln from Naran High Academy. Ms. Ryan would like to see you in classroom one four. It's important news to share with you by regarding the terrestrial phenomena. Bing bing boom. But I want to check everybody else before I go to the story mode stuff, just in case. Just in case there's goodies. Mario, what do you need? What are you liking? Main thanks to then help with the League Club and help Kieran. Once you became champion, Kieran withdrew himself entirely from our ranking system. Though I consider that somewhat sad, it is not as as if he no and I no longer meet. More than anything, I'm glad he seems to be more acting like his former self. More indeed, it is swept up with joy and such then I prepared a tremendous amount of flight enabled supplement used in my trial. Please feed your egas an appropriate portion for it to fly whenever you wish. Yeah. 
But you want to fly right now? Please slow down. Someone we never meant to eat in such large. Yeah. Kind of will be able to fly now. Seems like you guys have powered up somehow. Look at it. I guess that it has gained the power to fly whenever we wish to. Suppose this is an acceptable outcome. Have a, there's a super high course of my flying in time trial. You may attempt to clear a hard course, but free to do so when you're ready. Rhino can now freely fly through the air. If you press left stick when gliding, her Rhino will keep fly forward automatically when it's flying. Press next stick again, it'll go. Press stick. Oh, so you press it, it goes into fly mode. If you press it again, it's gonna go back into fly mode. Time to go. So long then. That's why I wanted to check beforehand. So now we can fly, we can fly, we can fly. Well, let's see what the dic to the dictator, the director has to say. <sighs> oh, there you are, Lily. It's just the person I was looking for. That's news, you're the new PB League champion, am I right? <laughs> I admit, I'm blown away. And finding you to this academy is the best decision I made recently. Now, I've got some time to get comfortable here. How'd you find Blue Ray Academy? Are you having fun? I love it here. The goods are what I like to hear. Which, uh, anyway, I have a small favor I'd like to ask you, Lincoln. See, the whole academy became so much more lively and energetic since you came here. And I've been thinking maybe you should have even more people come to visit from Paldea. Have them come to a special coaches, special coaches or something. You know, lots of people, right? Got tons of friends and everything. I mean, like teachers from your school, gym leaders, and sorts like that. Oh, and any strong friends of yours might be welcome here too. Leave it to me. <laughs> I guess you're like a true champ. Spoken like a true champion. I knew you were the right person to ask. No, no, just the one. Namona. <laughs> Well, if you really contact anyone you want to invite, but it'll cost BP. You need to pay for the trip and such. So here's here's how to get started. Three thousand, two thousand. Cheap ass. I mean, special code to stay in the club room when you're not teaching. So chat with them while they're here. Leave it to enjoy. Leave it to you. Enjoy. I know just the girl to invite for Carmine to meet. Call a special coach. I can't call my friends. What the butt? You can only call the gym leaders? That's disappointing. Lock on feature. <laughs> Screw inviting somebody. I'm using this for the photography club. Screw you guys. New lock on feature. Details about Pokemon you lock on to using the ZL button. You can look on the Pokemon using the ZL. You can see the Pokemon's gender, its size, whether it has a mark or not, and only if it's species you've caught before. Oh, thank goodness. I'm going to get into a, ba into a battle and actually see if I caught the Pokemon now. Secret boss of Blueberry Academy. One of some of the greatest number of guest coaches to our fine house to learn using BB to earn the right challenge, the Academy's beloved secret boss. Hmm. I guess it's not over yet. I guess there's so much more to do. Well, before the epilogue happens anyway. So what do you want to talk about, me, Briar? Hey, Link, I'm glad to see you. Is feeling rested and recover after a big adventure down into the Ender Depths? Yes, I'm fine. You just really insinuated thing. Still feeling a bit rung up despite having been back for a while now. But on why I called you here. Since our return, I've been writing up everything I discovered on our expedition. Honestly, I'm hardly slept. Taking your greatest permission to turn it all into a book. 
Don't worry, I made sure to skip the few details and omit the names of those involved. And voila! Proof copy of the book. Freshly delivered by my, from my publisher. Just for you. Copy of Blair's book. And of course, the hidden... It's the book of a hidden near, treasures area. Is there a proof copy? With long paragraphs to have what happened along with Blair's thoughts. We have... I behaved recklessly in the under desk, and I don't know what I would have done if you weren't, weren't for you. So you deserve a copy of this book. I just hope it's sufficient as an apology. Something else I need to check with you. You mind showing me your terror orb, Lincoln? Like, will it never run out of terror energy? I thought so. It's behaving just like Carmine. Aaron and Carmine. Might, because your terror orbs were directly exposed to energy from terror pagos. Say that since the under desk, they've been able to terrestrialize their Pokemon without charging their terror orbs. As there's one more piece of news I have shared with great of the deepest depths. You know the terrarium core that hangs in the ceiling at the terrarium? Well, until now, I've been keeping it topped up with a mix of Paldean sewer, water, and the crystal pool. It's Kami. That's how we were able to stabilize the terrestrial phenomena of our academy ground. The other day, I added crystals I collected from the under depths and that, to that mix, and it caused the properties of the core to change. So. Pokemon shining in rainbow colors have started appearing all over the terrarium. They have the stellar terror type. Thanks to this, my research in the terrestrial phenomena is shining brighter than ever. Okay, finally, stellar terror type boosts the moves. This is grants a boost to moves, but only once per move type. After you use the move, no other moves of that same type will get the boost. In a terror ray battle, all moves will be boosted without limit. One last thing, the man in blue suit is looking for you over by the entrance of the academy. Blue suit. So I'm going to report for now. Thanks for setting aside some time to chat with me. I'm off to pay a visit to my publisher. See you leave you there. Next time we meet, let's get a good long look at Terra Pagos. Until then. Yeah, so basically it doesn't affect your type. Basically it just makes it that your moves are stronger. And that, oh, if you want to... If you have one like, more than one type of move, it makes that extra boosted, but it doesn't change your type. Like your type. Blue suit you. Oh, it's like the cut of your jib. You must be the one we're talking about. It'll put there in exchange for really like it. And my name's not Smacksworth. Indeed, call me Smacksworth. I do love to see the young trainers putting some real effort into their self improvement, especially the kids. Really give all their tips to the little BBQs. I order them with snacks. These snacks are made of a very special treat. Made from just the taste of certain Pokemon. And one of my snacks in hand, you may find yourself running into a quite spectacular Pokemon. So come give them the old snacks worth the latest whenever you have the hard work to work on those BBQs. by the Legend of Pokemon Latios. I'm running my Pokemon, speaking of Latios, called this one particular encounter when I was a young fella. One day, I ran smack dab into it, blazing as it pleases, while I was over in the northeast Paldea. See? Couldn't see speak to each other's languages, but I had a feeling to tell me to follow it. So I gave chase when Latios flew off, and I ended up climbing these real steep cliffs. Next thing I look and realize I've come to a small lake nestled between two jagged cliffs. A secret spot, after all. He loves the snack you have there, so you might be able to shy at meeting it, too. Run to old laddie, I'll be sure to give it my best. Oh, so you're the guy you, you come to if you complete the BBQs to be like, Hey, you finished enough quests to unlock an encounter with the legendary Pokemon. Because there's a ho-ho treat. Made ingredients favored by the legendary Pokemon. Ho-ho! No ho, friendly, rare, not that one. Now I run into my Pokemon. Speaking of Hawkeye, I do recall a young feller. I'll tell those started out as a trainer. Oh, they're talking about Ash. It's down by the southwestern part of Paldea near the cascading waterfalls down there. But up to the night, training without rest, trying to make my Pokemon stronger. Then Ho Ho appeared in the sky right above me, glittering and sparkling, bright as I ever saw. Sure, like, believe they appeared there to cheer me on when I was feeling so hard. Love the snack you have there, so maybe I'll just shout over kind. 
I'm gonna do a ho ho, make sure you give it my best. So basically now it's saying, hey, now if you wanna go to Paldea. Lake near the northwest. See the cascading waterfall to the south. Well, I just want to freaking fly with Karidon. Good old Toothless. Finally, he can fly. Press whenever to go back into glide mode. Who the f will go into glide mode? It's being like, yeah, I'm gliding. And then I'm falling. Does he get that constant glide? Can't believe they had to take the whole DLC to actually finally be able to fly. Because the fun fact is that this guy literally flew all the way from Area Zero all the way to, like, next to my house. Like, that wasn't even, like, a, like a, a standard glide. That, that He flew all the way from Area Zero, flew up out of Area Zero, and flew all the way to where I was. So don't be sad. I think you can. You shouldn't be able to fly. It's kind of weird seeing Maridon, I understand flying. Karidon, hmm, not so much. Because it's just, it's, it, its wings don't look like it can actually hold its weight flying. Cascading waterfalls. That's where Ho Ho is. This looks like a spot you'd find a legendary Pokemon. Would they just peer into the world, or what, what, what's the what's the dealio here? What's the uh, down low? How am I supposed to find these legendary Pokemon? They just show up and be like, "Oh yeah, here." Remember, someone posted a map. Oh, I said not even find all the stakes. Yeah, damn. <laughs> Do all the bonus episodes. A yeah, snack work and the legendary Pokemon. Scarlet's Raikou, Ente Suicune, Ho Ho, Latios, Groudon, Reshiram, Sogaleo, and Gleistir. Then, of course, you got Lugia, Latias, Kyogre, Kavalian, Teraki, and Verizian, Zephron, Lunala, and Spectasteer. And then group quests are Quaza, Kyurem, and Necrozma. So you get Dusk Main Necrozma. Oh, and I guess you can find the birds wherever the fuck I want. Bloodsy says find them in one of his activation. Articuno, Zapdos, Moltres. Wait, right? What? Yeah, they'll just show up. The three birds will just show up. Comes to your fellow ho ho, is this guy above me? Found the small raised hill by the waterfall of the south province of area four. Oops. 
small raised hill in the south province by area four. Where the heck? Oh, geez, I can't. I can't look at the map while I'm flying. That is some little hunky. Oops. South Province Area Four. To do the here is down there somewhere. Anyway, see a giant rainbow bird, let me know. Oh. There he is. Uh, turn around. Ho ho. Bug buzz. Now, are the legendary Pokemon shiny locked, or are they? Let me show that now that I. Yeah, we do. Legendary Pokemon Shiny Lock in the DLC. Portuguese Legendary Pokemon Scrum by Indigo Disc is impossible, and they're all Shiny Locked. Creature Experience can buy a player rewards on Landing Cave. These Shiny Pokemon Legendary Pokemon only appear in the, in the regular card, no Shiny variants. The pattern of the Shiny Locking statistics is still described by Indigo Disc. Despite numerous attempts to reset or encounters Legendary Pokemon like Luke and Moltres, they yield no Shiny variants. Additionally, data miners have yet Discover any indication of the game's files suggesting the availability of this Pokemon in Chinese form. So I'm trying to these Pokemon from Pokemon Home. The sh these shiny legendaries are likely caught Pokemon Go raids and other older games in case these Pokemon weren't shiny locked. So basically, you can catch all the legendaries added to your decks, but you can't get the shinies. Jeopardy Alpha, what's up? What's up? Hello, hello. We just finished the Indigo Disc. And got the hidden treasure area zero. Also, I found a ho ho. I would fight it right now, but I really don't feel like it. Because I just found out that apparently all the Pokemon are shiny locked. All the legendaries are shiny locked. Um, what should we do now? And then just. Oh, I also learned how to fly. So. Kudos to that. <laughs> we don't have to worry about basically hitting the ground ever. Just fly where we want to go to in real time. Though it sucks, I can't really bring up the map or anything. So I'll just fly to the top of the. Hey, it creeps the top of the school now, maybe. <gasps> doing it. Doing it. I've been wanting to hit the very tip of that school for how long? You know what? I'm doing it. Let's go. I'm flying! <laughs> It's illegal to finish the disc. You got ho ho from the black market, good sir. <laughs> well, I didn't catch him. He's just, he's just flying. It's just, it's just, it's just flying there, just waiting. I got a treat that'll like, you know, it'll actually battle me, but eh, I'll wait. Mezagoza. Now, 
Academy Mezagoza. I've done it! I've gotten on top of the school! Ha ha ha! I'm on top of the world! And then the mountaintop, that's a little higher, but you know what? I just love the view from here. How's your ogre pond, or however you spell its name? It's good. She's do she's doing fine. We just caught, like I said, we just caught Terrapago, so that's another new Pokemon in our roster. I'm just gonna land at this point. Wee! Now I see Warp is just the front gate. They oh, loading screen. There we go. Let's see, where's my dex? There we go. Terrapagos. The Terra Pokemon. Terrapagos protects itself using its power to transform energy into hard crystals. The Pokemon is the source of the terrestrial phenomena. Do mass form I can't. See the other forms of it. You could like check different form, oh, whatever. All right, so there's a quite a bit of stuff we could still do technically. That's what we finished. Nope, not even. So what number is Terrapagos then? Two forty. I'm guessing that's in the blueberry decks, right? Yep. Terrapagos, Walking Wake, and Iron Leaves. Speaking of those two, let's get online and see if we can actually find uh, Iron Leaves. To the interwebs. Push competitions, break out of mass dragon types. Walking wake and iron leaves. To the Poke Portal. Aha! There's one right here. See if we can get in. It's only five star? So I guess it's like a different a different variant of Iron League. So hey, at least you could get it this time. So it's not as powerful as it was before. Before it was like a seven star black raid. Come on, come on, come on. You weren't able to join. No! Please! I just, I caught Walking Lake. I just need Iron Leaves. And then eventually I need to get the other two Iron, which is the Iron, cre iron Crest and is it Iron... Oof, was it Iron... Uh, Iron Ground. What was its name? Iron Bull? Anything's Iron Bull? Pretty sure. Don't call me on that. I'll have to look it up later. No. I must have missed it. Is it gone now? Now it's walking awake. But I already got walking awake. I can't catch it again. I can battle it, but I can't catch it again.
curious on how you would be getting Petra runs. That's what it's called. Petra runs. Curious on how we will be getting Petra runs soon. Apparently, it's an event during the the epilogue. Which happens like in a couple of weeks, I think. I'm sure they said like January 11th. They released the epilogue, and that's the uh, that's the Petra run. Hey, we got it. Psychic, psychic, psychic. Wolf Pokemon, go against psychic. Dark, go. Nah! <laughs> what do you mean it was abandoned? Get your asses back in there. So I'll do it with you. It's only a five star this time. We can handle that. Let's see, psychic. Dark, ghost, bug. Go ahead. Anybody that's strong that has any of those types. Dark ghost bug. I don't know. You weren't able to join. You suck. Can't wait for that. Wonder going to be the only Pokemon I to do with the epilogue. I mean, it's kind of cool because it actually explains, like, because the whole thing with the Loyal 3, or the Lousy 3, as I'm going to call them, because they're completely total dickheads, um, they actually weren't them those Pokemon before Petra Run. Because Petra Run gave them the Toxic Chains, which, of course, gave them their deepest desires, but, of course, like a double-edged sword, it made them evil. It made them more dark and broody and, you know, poison. Hey, I got in. Okay. I need something that's good against... Psychic. Gonna throw in my dark ride. <laughs> He's probably gonna kill me. Cause I'm only level 50. So we'll give it a goddamn per we'll give it a goddamn try. It's only a five star raid, it's not like a seven star terror raid where they're like, ah, the mighty mark. See it's funny people managed to find it by hacking and data mining. Yep. And Game Freak was pissed off. <laughs> I, I forget what they said that they found anybody like sharing data on it. They, they, they like sent a son did they send him a season to assist? I forget. There was a big thing where like, oh, they told him to stop stop hacking hacking the event. To get Petra rent. It's like, well if they're gonna release it, let them release it. You know, it's not like freaking they didn't sit out all them years ago where just like, hey, here's an event, here's a couple of event Pokemon. Will we release the event? Mm, nah. And they didn't decide to release the event until like Decades later, or yeah, decades later when freaking the remakes came out. Gotta love dittos, yep. Oh, they were choosing their Pokemon. Jesus, like they had that loot just like for how long? All right, here's hoping we got this. Iron Leaves. Oh my gosh, I should have used, used my Keo. Dang, I didn't think about that. Keo's Dark type, Keo's Grass Dark. Dang. Quirk Drive. Prepping. Oh wow, this thing's falling much faster than it did when we battled it the first time. Excellent. Wow. You think me? 
I don't think any of his moves are gonna burn because I'm gonna start. No, I'm gonna... Yeah. Let's put my stuff iron leaves. Oh, so we also make it flame circles. Ooh, Leaf Blade taking me out. I actually used the move that was effective against. So I did Shadow Claw. Come oh, on, guys, we got this. It's almost dead. Did it really just KO everybody and just. At least it's gathered energy. Oh, crap! <laughs> you and the others were blown out of the cavern. We were close, though. That's when my terror will be fully charged. Ugh. Back to Poke Portal. Come on, Iron Leaves. No. He's gone. Ugh. I can fight a Sinitra. Wait, no. Because it's grass. So I want to use. I think that I had someone else in mind. Yeah, I wanted to switch Ogre Pond's mask. I don't think I could do that here, can I? Well, we'll give it a shot. <laughs> we'll give it, we'll give it, we'll give it the, uh... The college try. You gotta watch out for not only being... Think of its weaknesses, but if it uses a move that you're weak against, then you're basically gonna be screwed. I like grabbing with iron leaves. And also the Doug Drill we fought. Well, it's like, oh, it's this terror type. Forgot it was a ground type, basically. It was a steel type, and it basically wrecked all my Pokemon that it was like weak against. So we shall see. Since I need this Pokemon anyway, so. As a legit, I heard somebody shiny it was a divine moth. Now, is it a legit shiny or is it a crap shiny? I guess so. I guess it was legit because it's Iron Hand, not Pokey Rev dot com or whatever. That's a circle of anyway. Oh boy, we're gonna lose this thing already. Hang tough!
Heal. I have a self as a story. Of course, I know it's also no skull. No one has done any massive damage to this Pokemon. What is what is going on, everyone? What are you guys doing? Earth power! And it's gonna kill me! Gotcha, gotcha. Pretty sure the Iron Hands died and we just lost. Yep. Wait. Now, <laughs> uh, blew us up. It blew, all right. Blew us out. Now right, we're going to try see if we can find iron leaves one more time. Not we'll probably ended off there. Oh yeah, there's an iron leaves right here. Let's come and get in it. That's the big question. Waiting on it to load. No. Come on, give her, give, give her a good card try. Come on, let's give us, let's give us a shot at it. You know, I gotta do it off screen. I'll do it off stream. So, how long do I have to? I think I have to like the eleventh or seventh instead. Yeah, yeah, December 25th to January 7th, yeah. No! Is that a Cleavor? That's a Cleavor! The Dark Cleavor? What the heck is that doing here? Did you actually find the item required for it? at Blueberry Academy. A dark cleavor. Huh. Interesting. I want to try iron leaves. Go on. So I have to the seventh to get iron leaves. Of course I wasn't able to join that one. Can I join this one? Can I join any of them? Are any of these available? About bullshit. I don't know. We'll see. It takes so long for communications. And not like I'm not connected to the internet. Well, I've got this thing wired, so.
got to the last one, which we were doing great, and then it just was like, went all downhill. Whoa, what? I can the other console switch her again later. Excuse me? Excuse me? It's Jangmo. It's like a Jangmo. Fire my low tick. A ground guard. Isn't. No, Garganok was rock. Water Mammoth Swine. Steel Flygon. Psychic. Nine Ninetales already psychic though. Fighting Vile Plume. <sighs> Come on, just let me try one more time. I'm just just one. Come on. Just give me another chance. Just the communication is just waiting on it. Who says I wasn't already there? <laughs> We're all mad here. Hey, I got, hey, I got it. Kyono's Night Slash. I need dark types. Rim snarls dark. No. Oh, shoot. Thought it's out of the red. I was like, nah! <laughs> Who do we got? Grim snarl. Brew bonnet. Crocodile. Impidimps. Sable I Hound do my Yana. Rim Snarl, Dark Rye, High Dragon. Oh, it turned to a Bug Terror type. That might be good. It's very good against Grass. It's very good against Psychic. Golden go hair across. Alright. Since you're also being mad on your call with Atomic. Oh, I'm always crazy. <laughs> I'm always crazy. Now, well, let's give her one more go. Let's do it! Okay, the Lucario, they're all shiny, every single one. Alright, who which one of y'all asses is legit? Which one of you guys are fake as heck? I know y'all y'all are legit Chinese. Use your higher the target attacks then. Yes! Yes, keep attacking your keep taking increasing your attack stat. Yes, keep doing that. Cause my file plays it. Beat ya! The higher your attack stat is, the more mega. God damn! What? Excuse you? And he 
kill the hair across it. And Luca, we're dead. Yeah. I think so too. Because the fun fact is that, yeah! And literally, we just lost again. Didn't even get to weaken it at all! Cause it just keeps killing every Pokemon I send out! Oh well, we tried. We gave it the college try. We ha I had it on the ropes of my foul play, and he killed us. Hooray. Blah. Well, so much of that. So I guess next time on Pokemon Scarlet, we're gonna, you know, tie up some loose ends here, there, here and there. Finish some stuff in the Blueberry Academy. Search around Paldea for any other secrets that we hold. Maybe even go back to Kitakami, see if we can, you know, fill out the decks there. So, we'll see you guys next time. If you guys like what you saw, the good old show shit right here. You can find uh, streams that aren't on Twitch anymore on my YouTube at youtube.com says Dark Warhog. Since you can also find clips on Instagram, TikTok, it's all together there in a nice little link. Since speaking of togetherness, we also do have a Discord if anybody would like to join. A lot of awesome people there. Is you come chat, hang out, you know. It's a bit of a work in progress at the moment, but you know we have like movie nights and community nights planned there. And if you're a streamer, you can come and bring have your community in my community. We can spread that love and support. Cause you know with all that doing all that we can help each other achieve our dreams. Speaking of strength splitting that love and support, let's see who we're gonna raid out tonight. Let's see who's on playing something. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Dude's playing Clone Hero. Jiggy's playing Power Wash Simulator. Anyone's playing football? Who you know, else we haven't read in a while? Those are big numbers. Uh, yeah, let's go right out Lude. Let's go see Lude. Let's go for the Lude Land Gaming. Lude Land Gaming. Alrighty, guys, let's get good old Lude Dark Wear Raid in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's go! Songs. Dude, Dark Warehog, thank you for the raid, bro. Can you hit him with a shouty? Can someone hit Warehog with a fat fucking shout out for that? I appreciate you, homie. How was your stream? I've seen those slide notes. But yeah, if y'all don't know Dark Warehog, I did a shout out earlier for the homie. 
Bro's your source for all things Nintendo. If you like keeping up with like Pikmin, uh, Tears of the Kingdom, all that good, good. Pokemon. Fucking go drop them a follow. The streams are always fan fucking fantastic. I hope you had a fantastic one tonight as well. And I really appreciate bringing your viewership here, coming here with your raid. That, that means the absolute world to us, you know? Like, trusting your community here to just come out and hang out tonight. We always try to have a pretty good vibe and just uh, enjoy the night with everyone. Even when I'm sucking at playing here. I would be very much. I'm gonna play a forks band. Should you start Pilo soon? Dude, he's awesome. He's never been in since he's been big head. Not for everyone. Yeah, well, you're for me. And that's, that's enough. Who's got a motherfucking band? BMG. Oh, what? Dinosaur Jimmy? I feel the pain. That's the same. But yes, we have full movies. Hour 47. Only on TikTok. The Lorax. Only on TikTok. Megamind. Also, only on TikTok. Well, y'all pick one. Can you do Cliffs of Dover? It's amazing how I was just heading to there. I do it on hard, though. Pussy moon. If, if you will. Nine Inch Nails. Dude, I will take that next. <clears throat> I'll take that, that next blink. Do the burn, please. The fire and flames. Did you the fire and flames game? Fuck me. Play for a play for a bird. Play for a bird.
nailed it. Fucked it. I love this song though. 